Today, this is the brand new Mini Cooper GP added to Forza Horizon 5. In case you didn't know, I am absolutely in love with this car. I genuinely really, really want one. Also, I did, but then it was auto only, so. Anyway, this car is super sick. The color looks really weird on this game. I'm not sure how I feel about it, but in case you don't know, this is the fastest, most powerful Mini Cooper to have existed. The standard ones sit at like the low 200s for the horsepower. By standard, I mean JCW and the Cooper S. However, this beautiful boy, uh, about 300. 302 horsepower to be exactly. So in case you didn't know, this is the car pass car. Very good. Of course, there's a brand new season. So if you want to check out anything else, what else is new? Um, that thing? I mean, not really. Now, this car, I'm really, really excited to be checking out in Forza. I, I guess you know, I have a JCW Mini. And uh, I don't plan on getting rid of it for this because, again, auto only. But let's have a... Yeah, uh, uh, no. <laughs> so normally I wouldn't actually bother with the rehashed cars because the F56 Mini has already been in the game. This is a video from Forza Horizon 4. But unfortunately for Forza Horizon 4, the game that this car suited the most, it was a convertible. We made it like my actual Mini and uh, yeah, unfortunately, it was a convertible with a soft top. So let's see. Oh, oh, it has the digital display. That's a little bit different. And of course it has the panels. This thing wheel spins way, way more than the real thing. The real thing would never do that. So just in case you hadn't realized yet, my Mini has the GP wing. It has the GP front grille, front bumper. I had actually quite a few bits from the GP on my car. However, the thing is with Forza, I'm not exactly sure it's going to pick up on the sense of driving a Mini Cooper properly. Let's find out. So in case you don't know why these are so special, they are absolute B-road monsters and that's why they're so incredible driving a mini cooper it's like this all the time it's not you don't wheel spin that much but something about these torque steery understeery boys made this understeer is way too much the actual thing can can turn just so <laughs> just so that's clear but driving these things feels like an absolute little go-kart all the time i love driving my mini cooper i almost never bought a hatch the only reason i did is because my partner needed a first car and well very glad that we did buy a mini cooper it's definitely one of the best hatchbacks that you can buy however this is forza and you are able to customize mate the understeer of this is absolutely ridiculous <laughs> so let's do uh what we do and do a little bit of rice it's time for a little bit of customization here we go. We got front bumper and rear wing customization. Now, 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 now. The rear wing is the best bit about this bloody car. If you, if you even think, what the f- <laughs> What? I, I was actually a little bit like, this is going to be the worst thing ever. What in the flying hell is- That is totally unnecessary. And why did you need to remove the GP wing? Couldn't you have both? Couldn't you have both? What the flying hell is going on there? We, of course, then got some extra bits for the front. Looking pretty good. Visual customization is not terrible. Now, we can actually drive... To Wait. We can make it rear-wheel drive? Man, I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. So we can make it all-wheel drive. Of course, that's kind of what I expected. And, of course, this is front-wheel drive. This is a front-wheel drive boy. However... There are engine swaps available. There's one, and it's Turbo Rally. You know, that kind of makes sense. I was thinking something else, but that makes sense. So, of course, my idea is I want to build this to have the powers. All the powers possible. And then once we have done this, we'll play around with the drivetrains. I want to see front, rear, and all. If this Mini Cooper had all-wheel drive from the go, even if it was auto only, that probably would have sold me, to be honest. I think... I think I'm at a boy. Wheel stuff is something I was curious about. Got rid of those nasty bloody wheels on the, <laughs> the car standard. However, fitment, I wanted to see fixed. And I'm quite happy to say that it has been fixed. The sexiest thing about cars to me is this little bit of tire that sticks out of the side. She's sexy. That's what I want to see. I want to see a little bit of poke. Something super cool from factory days have a, quite a bit of camber if you look at them from the rear. And uh, yeah. This is no different. The poke with the camber. The best thing is I got some fitting wheels and we don't have those big arches on ours. So you can actually properly get a nice look at that side. Hang on. This is sounding a little bit sus. <laughs> 627 horsepower. Again, just in case you don't bring it back to the real world. Normally, you can make this engine do about 
300. Saying that, I don't know anyone that's modified a GP. This is based upon the standard engine. So most people go to about 300. I've seen just over 300 previously. So if I can get about 600 horsepower in that front-wheel drive Mini Cooper, I'll take it. What? He's <laughs> that wing. <laughs> that is the dumbest wing I've ever seen in my life. I... I'm not even sorry, to be honest with you. I think it looks it looks kind of sick. I want to see how... If this is still a B-Road monster, now that we've doubled the power, I feel like it's too much. Let's find out. Oh, my God. I just want to put my foot down. It's, it's one of those cars that you can. That's something that's super sick about hatchbacks. You can put your foot down. You can give it the beams. Come on, big boy. Let's go. See if we can do it without just torque steering our death to our death. It's just an absolute little monster. I love this thing. I want more of it. Forza, thank you. I'm not sure how I feel about the color. I think it's a little bit dark. I think I want to give it a little bit of paint in a second. But we also need to make it rear-wheel drive. That just sounds insane. So it feels basically the same as it did, but we're doing about 200 miles an hour in a front-wheel drive car, and it is properly stuck. There's, there's no way that you could oversteer with this thing. It's just... It's just not possible. Let's apply a little bit of paint. Now, the thing is, are you joking me? It gets rid of the red? <sighs> I love and hate that. <laughs> I love and hate that at the same time. I want to go for the Miami blue. This is the color of my actual one. Looks super cool. Oh, another cool thing is there's no rear seats in this one. That's something that's super cool. It's just two seats. So we're going to go for the blue. And then if I go for advanced, hopefully... That's not what I want. X on the keyboard. Paint group two. What are you? Oh, that's the roof. So I'm going to go for black on the roof. We're going to have the chili pack. No sunroof. Unacceptable mini. This is, again, another reason I did not buy this bloody car. How? Yes! We can do the red at the front, which is super sick. And of course, uh, we can try and get it to match. But it that's my mini! Look at this! All right, so we can do hood customization. We got that. We got the rear wing, which we cannot customize because we changed it. Uh, we have got the wheels, so I'm actually going to make those. I was kind of like a, a more matte black, so can I can I do that in this game? I don't even know. Red is just the accent color for the mini. It's just how it how it be. So we're going to go for a decently dark tint, and I'm actually going to share this design as the Black Panther mini. So please do download. It's been a while, but. Please. <laughs> right, let's quickly fix this. We're going to change the drivetrain and make it rear wheel drive. <laughs> that is going to be insane. Wh How is the launch and everything still so much better? I feel like we need to change the engine. This is so sick. I'm so happy with this. So happy. Right there, that's my share code. Please, please, come on. Come on, help a brother out. Anyway, let's give this a go. I'll put it in third somehow. Here we go. That is so odd. That is weird. I don't know how to feel about this. We have got a rear wheel drive. The thing, the thing sounds worse than the real thing, that's for sure. It sounds kind of like a Forza generic tiny engine. But nonetheless, that is the weirdest thing ever. Drifting my uh, Mini Cooper. This should be illegal. This is not... This is not real. This is not possible. Thing is, Mini has really grown on me, like, hugely since we got ours. And I definitely would consider buying the new one because they're actually considering making the Mini smaller for the next three-door version. However, there is a little bit of a problem with it. They've just made their current versions all uh, auto-only. A little bit worrying. And, uh, well, it's probably going to cost a million pounds now, isn't it? Because BMW. So, the, uh, if you got this gen of Mini... You're doing pretty good. Man, I, just, I don't know how to feel. It's just such a bizarre feeling. And I've realized as well, uh, I think this is a, a mistake. There's a chrome strip all around the car. I think it's actually blacked out on the real GP. Small details, Forza. This is unacceptable. And why is the diffuser got a spot of blue? <laughs> okay. Oh, we'll drive. Install setup. We have got 668 horsepower. Bring us just into S2. So S1 max is where I would sit with this car. However... I like to build the poo, poo out of everything. How cool is it seeing that on the stage? It looks so good. So, so good. Don't mind me. I'm just, I'm just admiring my baby just a little bit. Oh yeah. Oh, this is, this is proper UK scenes. Absolutely everyone else. RS3s, bloody golf R's, focus RS's. Holy, what? This thing is sick. That is insane. It sounds 
worse somehow. I think I already hated the engine note, but for some somehow this thing sounds worse than it did previously. I've not even touched the tuning, of course. I never really do on the initial build, but this is actually one of those I really want to. Man, what a, what a machine. Big Wang. Beautiful blue. It's, it's, it's the most characterful of the cars here. I'm sorry. Let's do a little bit of first person. Oh. Oh, it sounds better on the interior view. Thing is... Oh, wait, I need to do my gearing. Oh, I need to do my gearing bad. <laughs> Thing is about this car, I, I genuinely think of, 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 of all hatches of today, although it is just a BMW, it's it's just... There's something about it. The way it drives, it's kept... At, honestly, ultimately, it's the, it's the wheelbase. The wheelbase of this car is what makes it so special. It's hard to really replicate that in a racing game as you can see but it does feel point and shoot and that's 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 full on mini this is what it feels like to drive with 300 horsepower in a mini like it feels this quick but for some reason on a game 600 oh, forza 600 horsepower feels slow but it's it's enough this is the speed i should be doing these corners and this is going to be a hot topic for our uk boys but listen here friends i'm gonna say that i hate the generation before this i think they are the ugliest minis of them all i said it come and fight me in the comments i will beat you these things are sexy sexy cars Woo! power slide don't mind if i do this has become my favorite section on this track over the courses i feel like i could just cut it i feel like i'm doing it wrong but at the same time I'm not, baby. Mini Cooper. Check it out. Out now on Forza. Smash like, subscribe if you're new, and peace.